in the previous video we talked about palate in buccal cavity now here we are starting with teeth let us first understand the various types terms which we use in uh, terms when we are talking of teeth and then we will take up the structure of tooth on the basis of number of sets which an organism gets in its lifetime we give certain terms so this is on the basis of number of sets in lifetime of that organism if an organism gets only one set in its lifetime then they are known as mono phyo don'ts only one set in the entire lifetime the example of this are whale and certain uh, lower uh, animals like uh, and eaters and we can say proto neems we'll take this up again once we take or understand the second one because we come into the second category if an organism gets two sets then they are known as di phyo dots two sets and we are in this category so let us write down the examples here that is man human beings apes monkeys we get two sets now the first set is known as first set is known as temporary or milk set and the second set is known as the permanent set now let us talk about the types of teeth and then we will come back to this Th third category here is if an organism keeps getting the sets as and when they fall off then they would be called polyphyodont many sets as soon as teeth fall off the new set would erupt so they are called polyphyodonts in this we would take the examples of fishes amphibians so as soon as their teeth fall off new sets arise so this is one classification based on how many sets an organism gets in its lifetime the second classification is based on the type or the shape of teeth or the shape of teeth if again if all the teeth are identical then they are known as homodont all teeth identical and if the teeth are different in shape then they would be called heterodont again in homodont we would write the example of fishes amphibians and in heterodont we would write the example of man or human beings now when we talk of heterodont which all different shapes of teeth are found the first one they are called incisors incisors are the teeth which are in the front and they are used for cutting and that's why they are also known as cutting teeth they are most developed in organisms which use them more like rabbits and rats because they normally keep cutting on certain food items their cutting teeth that is incisors are very well developed the second 
These are pointed teeth and they are more developed in carnivores. They are known as canines. And these canines are tearing teeth. These teeth, that is these tearing teeth, they are used to tear the skin and flesh. And that is why they are very well developed in carnivores. The third category of teeth, they are called premolars. And they are brought and used for grinding. Similarly, the fourth type, which are known as molars, they are also used for grinding. So, premolars and molars are termed as grinding teeth. This classification is based on the type of teeth based on their shape. And these different shapes are based on the function for which they are used. So if the animal has all teeth similar in shape size, then they are called homodont. If they have different shapes performing different functions, then those animals would be called heterodont. So we have seen two classifications. One is on the basis of sex and the second is on the basis of the shape. So in case of set, it can be only one set. That is in case of whales and, sorry, this is prototherian whales, prototherians. In case of human beings, diphyodont. And in case of fishes and amphibians, these are polyphyodont. Now, we will talk about dental formula using these two things in case of human beings. Dental formula is the arrangement of teeth in our jaw. To understand this, suppose this is the upper jaw and this is the lower jaw. Then we would write down the number of teeth in one half of the upper jaw and one half of the lower jaw. The teeth which come here, they are incisors then canines, then premolars and molars. Similarly, in the lower jaw, it's going to be incisors, then canines, premolars and molars. In case of human beings, if we are talking about the dental formula of the first set, that is milk teeth, if we are talking of, the formula is 2102 over 2102. Now, what does this mean? This means that this indicates the upper jaw, this indicates the lower jaw. So, this is upper jaw, this is lower jaw. And we have written only half. That means same thing would be on this side in case of upper jaw and same thing would be here in case of lower jaw. That means we'll have to double this number. But let us first talk about these numbers. This means there are two incisors in the upper jaw. Then there is one canine here. No premolar and two molars. This is what is meant by 2102. Similarly, in the lower jaw, there are two incisors here. Then one canine which is a pointed tooth then no premolars and two molars let us count this two and one three and two five five in one half and obviously five would be in the other half so this would come to ten after we multiply it with two or let us just add this two and one three plus two five so five would come here and same number here, 5 and 5. And double it, that is 10 and 10. 10 in upper jaw, 10 in lower jaw. So, it would be total 20 teeth. The ones which are not there are, because we have 32 in the permanent set. Or let us first write down the permanent set, so that it is easier for us to compare. Second set, that is the permanent set. The formula is 2123 over 2123. 
again it indicates the same thing or let me write it here slightly so that we get more space we are writing of the second set that is the permanent set the formula is 2 1 2 3 over 2 1 2 3 again same thing the upper line is representing the upper jaw lower line is representing the lower jaw and this is only half so there are two incisors one canine two premolars let us write it here incisors canines premolars and molars same here incisors canines premolars and molars and we will have to double it because we are taking half of the jaw so this would be two plus one three four five six seven and eight eight in one half so if eight come here eight would be here so that is 16 and 16 here so this would be 32 teeth in the permanent set now temporary set is without premolars and the last molar is not there that last molars they are known as wisdom teeth and wisdom teeth they erupt at a later age after around 18 so we can write here maybe that last molars are called wisdom teeth and which erupt after the age of 18 after 18 years so if a question is asked based on these two words we are talking of or these two classifications after we have understood the dental formula there are two sets in case of human beings and that is why we are diphyodont so this is one term which we use for our teeth we are diphyodont secondly the teeth which we have they are of various shapes that means we are heterodonts so human beings are diphyodont and heterodont diphyodont means two sets the first set has total 20 teeth this set is also known as the temporary set or milk set or milk teeth. The way we write formula is half of upper jaw over half of lower jaw. And the arrangement is incisors, canines, premolars and molars. So the number says is 2102 over 2102. Two incisors, one canine, no premolar and only two molars. Permanent set has a formula 2123 over 2123. Same. Two incisors, one canine, two premolar, and three molars. That is, we are talking of adult stage. The questions which are asked on this particular dental formula are very interesting. One question which was earlier asked many a times was how many teeth in human beings are monophyodont? Just now we highlighted this diphyodont word which says that the or animals which get two sets or the, the teeth which erupt twice in our lifetime. The question which was asked was how many teeth in human beings are monophyodont? That means how many teeth are there which appear only once? If we compare this formula, premolars are not here in the temporary set but they are here in permanent set. That means they appear only once in the permanent set. So premolars come under monophyodont teeth. That means they have appeared only once. That too in the permanent set. The second one, here there are only two molars and the last molar which appears at the age or after 18, that also would appear after 18. That means in the permanent set. So, which teeth are monophyodont? Monophyodont teeth in humans would be premolars. Reason, they appear only once and that too in permanent set. 
and second the last molar that is the wisdom teeth so last molars or wisdom teeth they also appear after the age of 18 and that is in the permanent set so formula knowing is one thing and then interpretation of that formula is another important thing so here we have classified the teeth or arrangement on the basis of only two things one is on the basis of number of sets an organism gets and the second is shape there are two more ways in which we are going to classify them so let us take those two classifications now